Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, 617 on your Tuesday morning. Welcome back. Alicia, you're welcome back from your uh, well, Colorado you. vacation. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen you since your honeymoon. Welcome back from your honeymoon. Thank you. Right? Nice uh, to it's meet been you. a while. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we had to introduce each other again this morning in the newsroom. <laughs> um, but you were in Colorado. You said yeah. it, the temperatures were up and down. They were. It's, it's just been, been a different extreme. Yeah. And it's been shockingly like consistent. Yeah. It's been consistently Which is summery kind of weird for in us. North Dakota. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how it works. We yeah. have a couple of those days that Mother Nature likes to remind us that no, 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 it's not always hot All right. here. Right, right. But Here's it's a just forty been, degree day. It's just it been kind of hot. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's talk about today. Today is going to be a hot day. Some patchy fog developing in the capital city. That is uh, very typical after getting a good day of rain in some areas. Sixty-two in Bismarck. East southeast winds at about five miles per hour. Mostly clear and sunny right now in Minot. Sixty-three and those southeast winds are only three. Mostly clear also in Williston. You can see the theme here around the state. Sunny and clear, 67. It's warm in Williston and a little cooler in Dickinson, but clear nonetheless, 58 degrees. Those southeast winds at about six miles per hour. So here's where the cold front is off towards the west. In fact, it's in Montana still, but out ahead of that front, we've got some clouds that are moving in. Uh, you saw that on the Williston sky cam. There are just some high thin clouds. We'll be talking about this front throughout the day. It's going to drag through the state. Temperatures right now across the state, 63 in Garrison, 63 there in Harvey, upper 50s in Hedinger, and 57 in Medora this morning. But we do have increasing chances for storms. Now, it's, again, another typical summer-like day where you could be missed with some of these storms, and I'll show you the forecast here in just a second. Uh, strong to severe storms. So things have changed since yesterday. We're seeing now increased instability this afternoon for just a small window in time. Time, so it's not going to be a long lived event. We could see one or two storms become severe. Hotter temperatures this afternoon as well. We'll in fact see widespread 80s. So here is the storm potential for today, the severe potential. Now we've got a marginal risk here for central North Dakota. And then you can see on the outsides of this marginal risk, a better chance for non severe storms. So let's break this down for you. This is why you want to be severe weather aware, because if you're caught under one of these storms, you'll probably find some large hail and some damaging winds. Here's around lunchtime, just increasing some high thin cloud cover by the middle of the afternoon. We expect that cold front to be off towards the west and then drag through central North Dakota late afternoon. That's 5 p.m. Probably uh, the, sort of the southern half of that cold front, like it typically does, will kind of lag behind and then move through the Bismarck area by early evening. Some of these storms along this front, again, could become strong to severe uh, late afternoon, early evening. So in that sort of uh, 5 to 7 p.m. time frame. But back behind it, we're going to be clearing out and then we head into Wednesday tomorrow. Nice and sunny. Temperatures return to the 80s for tomorrow. So here's the rain potential with this front, and you can see here, there are some areas that could see some heavy downpours over half an inch for some folks um, that could find themselves under some of these rain showers. And that's really been the story for the last several days. 80s today, we're back into the mid 80s for central North Dakota. We head up north, we're back to the low to mid 80s. It's going to be a hot one out there and we keep the hot temperatures this week. The next chance we're watching for potential severe weather will be Thursday. And that's uh, when we're going to see a chance for some uh, storms that could have large hail and damaging winds once again. And then several days, as you can see, there are near daily chances for some rain and storms. Uh, and then cooling off a little bit, if you call that a cool <laughs> off, <laughs> into the uh, upper 70s for the weekend. Yeah, not really. I, I, I'm just waiting for the day where you say, and yeah, it'll be only be about, you know, 30 degrees. You're waiting for that day? Yeah, I just, it has to I happen. Just I just feel like I just said that like a month ago. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it feel Can like Can we give it a little time? Matter, yeah. I'm not saying I'm ready for, yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready for it, but I just, I'm, I'm bracing you know, for the other shoe to drop, you know, yeah. right. Realize, yeah, savor these hot, warmer yeah. temperatures I do. while I, we I can. I savor it's all of this. For sure. Yes. Thanks, All right, thanks, Amber. Well, crime 